We kruipen op de fiets met Jamie Anderson, een Australiër die al 15 jaar in Vlaanderen woont, lesgeeft aan de universiteit en gek is van fietsen. En bij zijn vele fietstochten doet hij een bijzondere vaststelling. In Vlaanderen was iets wat ik noticed immediately when I was out riding my bike was that cyclists just don't uh, don't greet each other. Yeah. And that was really strange for me because everywhere else I'd cycled and ridden in the world, it's very common. If you're in Italy, people will say ciao. If you're in France, people will say bonjour. In Flanders, it's like you're riding past Terminator, you know? No emotion, no reaction. Even when you greet them, they often don't even greet you back. Het intrigeerde hem zodanig dat hij met een aantal vrienden een kleine studie uitvoerde. What, what were the results, in fact? Yes, yeah, so what we did was very simple. We just sent some guys out riding their bikes, you know? And, and what we did is we kept a log. So they would record how many sports cyclists they passed. So sports cyclists, guys dressed like us, yeah? And then they would greet them and then they would see what is the response. Yeah. We saw three, three things. One was people almost never proactively greet you. 96%, they don't greet you. Okay. Secondly, when you do greet someone, then guys maybe 70% ignore you. So I think 74%. But women, so if I'm a guy and I, I greet a women sports cyclist, yes. then most of them will respond. Okay. They'll give you a smile, they'll, they'll nod at you. So actually it's a very male Flemish thing. Okay. Because the other thing we discovered, like from here where we are in Brakel, six kilometers you cross the language border. Yeah. So you go into Hennegouwen. Yeah. Wow, amazing things happen. You go six kilometers, suddenly people start saying bonjour. Yeah. They start greeting you. So what the heck is going on when you just go six kilometers and you're in a different area and people start to be more, more open? Een verklaring voor dat stug mannelijk Vlaams wielergedrag heeft Anderson niet. It's also weird for me, Dirk, because. I greet everybody, you know, if I pass somebody on a horse or a hiker, or even the farmers, you know, like on the tractors, and I wave, I say hi, and they greet me back. Yeah. But not cyclists. <laughs> so it's still a mystery to me. Yeah, you, Why not? Why you have not? no explanation no, for it. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Because we think it's important also. Okay. Hello. So, uh, see, hikers, yeah. they yeah. say hello to you. <laughs> Er zijn weinig wielertoeristen op de baan. De meesten zitten waarschijnlijk naar de Tour te kijken. Maar jawel, er zijn er toch die Anderson min of meer gelijk geven. Well, we certainly don't think we've been unfriendly. No, 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 no. Yeah, 50-50 people putting a hand up, giving us a wave. Anderson probeert het vriendelijkheidsgehalte op de fiets wat op te krikken met een campagne. Not too pro to say hello. You know, in Belgium you have this concept of like the... The cycloterrorist, you know? Yes, yes, yes. The guys yes. on the road oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. aggressive and so on. And, well, how do you change that? You change that by being courteous and smiling and, and waving to people yeah. who are sharing the roads with you. Because after all, as a cyclist, we don't own the roads. We share the roads with other people, with hikers, with people on horses, you know, the, the, the leisure riders, you know? So, yeah. yeah, be courteous, be friendly to people. It doesn't... How much energy does it take to do that? En kijk, het heeft al meteen effect, tenminste als we deze Mexicaanse wielrenner mogen geloven. My experience is most people that I've passed uh, greet back, around like 75% of people uh, greet back, so I think most are pretty nice.